Yo, what's good YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all the best jump shot for every single build in NBA 2K23. These jump shots will have you hitting crazy peaks. These jump shots are also going to have you guys greening from behind half court. Damn! I'm also going to be showing y'all the best fade for each jump shot. Y'all are also going to be able to shoot from anywhere on the court with your tall ISO builds as well. I did not forget about all my spot up kings either. I got y'all with the best center jump shot too. Y'all are going to be shooting off the dribble like you're a guard on your center. So I'm going to be giving y'all the best jump shot for small guards that are below 6'5". Then the best jump shot for my taller ISO people, basically any build above 6'5". Then the last jump shot I'm going to be giving y'all is the best spot up jump shot. So for my lockdowns and my centers out there. I've also had a few people ask what shooting badges I use. So at the end of each jump shot, I'm going to give y'all the best shooting badges to use with that jump shot. Because every build is going to have a different jump shot. And obviously every build is also going to have different shooting badges. That's enough of me talking. We're going to go ahead and get into jump shot number one, which is going to be the small guard jump shot. So any build below 6'5", this jump shot is for you. And then I'm going to be showing you all the best timing to use and the best badges for the jump shot. All right, so here we are in the jump shot creator. We're going to get started with jump shot number one. All I do ask is that y'all do drop a like on the video for me. That really does help. And drop a sub if you're new with noties on. The base for jump shot number one is Kevin Porter Jr. This is the fastest base in the game. Super easy to time as well. And then upper release one, you're going to go over here to De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox is release number one. I'm telling you all, this jump shot is super easy to time, and it is literally the fastest jump shot for guards in this game at the moment. And then upper release two, y'all are definitely familiar with this one, especially if y'all have watched my jump shot videos before. But Oscar Robertson, this right here is the fastest jump shot in the game, I swear. And it's so easy to time with fading, everything. I'm going to show you all my fade as well at the end of this. But release speed, you're going to go max with this jump shot. De'Aaron Fox is going to be at 58% and Oscar Robertson is going to be at 42. This is the first jump shot. This is the jump shot for all my guards out there. Super fast, like I said. Very easy to time. Y'all are going to love this one. Just put it on and trust me. All right, y'all. So these are the badges to use. These are the most important badges to use, especially on guard. You're going to want to max out Agent 3. I get it on gold. That's what most point guards probably get it on. If you do get it on Hall of Fame, go ahead and throw it on that. But you do need to have Agent 3 as high as you can get it. And then for Green Machine, I always go Gold on Green Machine. It's a very important shooting badge this year as well. And then another very important one is Amped. I get Amped on Hall of Fame on my guard. Whatever you can get it on, I'd put it on Max. If you do get it on Gold, put it on Gold. Amped is super good to use on guard. Y'all know y'all dribble a lot and y'all are going to get tired with these weak stamina bars, bro. So trust me, Amped is going to help y'all spark up when y'all literally have no energy. Y'all can fade easily with it. And then Guard Up, I always run Guard Up Silver. You can go Hall of Fame. It's a little bit overkill in my opinion. I'd rather use the badges on the badges I'm about to show y'all. But guard up silver is plenty good, I promise. When they're sagging off and you shoot this, it's going to boost your jump shot a lot. And then blinders, I go silver. This is for when I do get crafts because I do get a lot with the Asa slide and all that. So I go blinder silver. Anything higher is a little overkill in my opinion. And then limitless range is also a very, very important one. This might be more important than Agent 3 to be honest. Especially on guard because y'all don't want to be having to literally have your toes right on the three-point line on a point guard like y'all want to be shooting from Steph Curry range like I was showing y'all on my clips all right now here we're gonna go with the jump shot for builds that are taller than 6'4 so 6'5 pretty much through 6'9 these are really for my taller ISO build people this jump shot is super easy to use it is the best base in the game y'all probably already know it we are gonna go right here to O'Shea Brissett that is the best base to use for ISO builds and taller builds in general no matter what you're doing on the build even if you're spotting up I'm gonna show y'all the spot up jump shot next it is different releases, but it is the same base because this is the best base for any build taller than 6.5. Now for the two releases on the ISO build, or basically for any build that you're dribbling with and shooting off a dribble, you're going to go right here to Oscar Robertson. You're going to do Oscar Robertson for upper release one, and you're going to do Oscar Robertson for release two as well. So right here you got it. That's the jump shot right there. You're going to go max release speed again, and the blending does not matter if you're using the same jump shot. And then these are the shooting badges I use when I'm ISOing on an ISO build, so basically any taller build. I'm going to go Agent 3 max again because that badge is very important still. Limitless range on bronze is still very important. You need limitless range. Obviously, how you saw I was shooting earlier in the game or in the clips. It is because I have limitless range on bronze. Limitless range on bronze is still perfectly fine for ISO builds. Obviously, for guards, you're going to want it to be a little bit higher, but ISO builds does not matter. 
Guard up. I max out guard up on my ISO build because there's a lot of times you're going to get open by yourself. I mean, especially if you're on the one score, it's just going to boost your shot that much more. It's way better than just having it on silver or bronze. And then green machine, you're going to go gold. This badge is always going to be on gold or high, however high you can get it on your build. So always use green machine. This build is very good this year. And then agent three, obviously you're going to have that on for fading. And then amped, I usually have amped on silver. You don't need to have it really any higher. Cause you are ice and you are gonna be a little tired but you're honestly not gonna like a guard so like you're not gonna be dead probably but if you are amp silver still does cover it amps uh amp silver does the job still and right here you see i'm running the four bronze lineup blinders on bronze is plenty fine so i'm not really crabbing people that much on my ice ability but it's kind of for fades when someone's on your side and they're trying to get a contest on you it's gonna help a little bit and you don't need to have it any more than bronze clutch shooter is a badge i actually just started recently using and it is very good i didn't know I thought it literally was only for like wreck because it shows in the description it says shot attempts that occurred during the final moments of a fourth quarter so i thought it was for wreck or career but actually literally if you are like down in a game or i believe after anything after 15 points it is gonna boost your jump shot like crazy so i run it on bronze and it is very good i'm telling y'all it does boost your jump shot when the game is almost over i did not know this until recently someone told me so trust me on this y'all try clutch shooter y'all can go a little higher if y'all want Y'all could just go um, silver, but I just did on bronze. I think it's perfectly fine on bronze. And then I have dead eye on bronze as well. You don't really need to have it any higher. I mean, any higher. You're not trying to shoot stupid jump shots. So, like, this is really just for, like, those 6%. You're going to green. Just the low percent contest. Maybe, you, like, got a cheap closeout or anything on you. This is going to help you just green that most of the time. So, these are the best shooting matches for the ice to build. I'm going to go ahead and give you all the last jump shot. All right, y'all, and this is the last jump shot of the build. This is the last jump shot in the video. This is the center jump shot. So really, for spotting up, you can also use this on your lockdown anywhere. If you're spotting up and doing a lot of catch and shooting, this is the jump shot for you. It is still the exact same base O'Shea Brissette. I'm telling y'all, if you're on a tall build and you're looking at any jump shot that's good, it's going to have the O'Shea Brissette base. That is the best base in the game for taller builds. Um... So now for the upper releases, I didn't use this until recently, but it is actually very good. I was playing stage with this in the stage clip you saw earlier. This is the exact jump shot I'm using right here. Go to the S's. It's Isaiah Stewart. Right here, Isaiah Stewart. I had never used this before, but it really is super good and easy to time. Um, it's a pretty good speed too. You're not going to get contested in the corner. Again, very easy to time. And then you go Isaiah Stewart again. You do this for upper release one and upper release two. All right, right here. And then the blending, obviously, you're going to go max speed again. And then blending literally does not matter at all. I'm going to go ahead and show you all my jump shot timing real quick. So first of all, if y'all are using shot meter, try to take it off. I'm telling y'all, y'all are going to be greening way more consistently. Unless you just absolutely can't. But I would try it with vibration on. And once you learn the jump shots, these are really easy to time. I promise y'all are going to get it down super easily. And then for shot release time, I use early. I always use early no matter what build it is. Guard, isoing, or spotting up. Early. I started off using late at the beginning of the year because that was like the default and I like enjoyed it and then I switched it early and I could not shoot at first but I'm telling y'all y'all will get used to it pretty quickly and once y'all do y'all are not going to go back I'm telling y'all it is super easy and it's way faster it just makes it a lot more like doable honestly so try doing early with no meter and let me know how you like these jump shots all right these are the best badges to use when spotting up on any build lockdown or center obviously catch and shoot max why not right <laughs> That's what you're doing. Put it on gold or Hall of Fame, whatever you can get it on. I get it on gold. I go green machine silver. Um, I feel like it's a little overkill to go gold with this because you're also going to need the other badges I'm about to show y'all. Claymore gold. This is the best spot up badge probably other than catch and shoot. But literally, it's when you're spotting up patiently. And I used to think that it was like meant you had to hold the ball like when you caught it. But it's literally if you're just standing still. So when you're standing still for literally like not even that long and then your teammate passes you the ball and shoots, it's going to give you that much of a boost. That is why I use this on gold. It is very important. Catch and shoot in this combo are deadly. Y'all are not going to be missing. Corner specialist, you really only need it on bronze, I'm telling y'all. Because anything, everything up past uh, bronze for corner specialist is kind of overkill. Plus, you need these other badges. You need blinders on uh, bronze. And then you're going to need dead eye on bronze and limitless range on bronze. So those are the best spot up badges. But that is it for this video, man. I hope y'all did enjoy the jump shots. If this video did help y'all at all, make sure y'all do drop a like on the video. I appreciate it so much. And if y'all are new to the channel, make sure you drop a sub for your boy. And turn on them noties. I'm going live pretty much every night. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.